I made it to a Goodwill store. This is a different one. I was like, Laura, we are switching it up. We're not going to the same Goodwill. Like I go to the same savers. So this is a totally different store. I have found some good stuff here in the past. So I'm kind of excited to go check it out. As per usual, I'm looking for summer stuff. So very, you know, on theme with summer lately. So far, I have not found anything for myself, and it's pretty bad in here. I did find this cute little one piece. It's a 3060, so a good size, too. are starting to look up because I just found this 1970s matching suit set. What? And it's purple, so it's half off today. Thank you, all thrift gods. You know, I am really trying my best not to complain so much about the Vegas weather because I realize that's all my channel is turning into is just me being like, it's so hot here. But it's so hot here. Oh my gosh. Ooh. I pretty much got everything that I showed uh, before. I got the lounge set. The only other piece that I did get was shockingly this Urban Outfitters, but it's a jumpsuit. And it's just very on brand for me because it's like a metallic disco, you know, clearly a 70s knockoff, but uh, yeah, still really good. <laughs> style hat that I tried on. I've actually been looking for a cowboy hat for ages like that. I got rid of all mine when I had short hair. Now that my hair is longer again, I've like been itching for a good hat. I actually passed on that polka dot number that I showed. It was by the brand Tahari. And I don't know, there was just something about it that didn't, it felt a little bit too modern, even though the structure on it was like very 1980s. The inside tags and everything were very like 90s Y2K, which was really surprising to me. Anything more than this, it would be to push my luck. I guess it's in my nature to give up, I don't give a fuck. It's not an ordinary fever. There is a kind of never. Today I'm going to Sabres and Goodwill. We're going to hit up two stores in one day really enjoyed that goodwill that I was going to when I was staying at my parents house so I'm trying to get that into the routine do I even need to list off the stuff that I'm looking for today no honestly it's always just summer stuff summer stuff is like all I can focus on and it's for some reason the one thing that I can't find I can't find shorts for the life of me like we're talking you know vintage high-waisted cutoffs whatever I just want shorts <laughs> but also dresses you know the deal. You know, you know the vibe. That store was a bit of a bust today, and I feel like today only. 
I actually walked in and saw two girls from LA bins, which was wild to me. I was like, what is going on? I either saw them and just got in the mindset of like, oh, it's all picked over, or it really was all picked over. Uh, but actually, weirdly, I saw her with this, and then she put it back, and I don't know why, because it is fantastic. I mean, it's definitely, it's a loud piece. It's, it's uh, particular, but it's a really cute jumpsuit, and it's got some like ruffles and all sorts of cool stuff. It kind of has like a tuxedo style to it so I was digging that and then I picked up this silk uru jacket beautiful absolutely beautiful like marble tie-dye finish and then this very like 90s y2k baby doll dress love the print on it a little more fall time vibes with this one but still super cute I kind of sort of regret not picking up was that cowboy hat but it turned out to be forever 21 I like I looked at that tag for probably 10 minutes to try and figure out I knew it was fast fashion but I don't know something about it I was like mm. and they wanted $12 for it so I could only see it as a styling piece for photography not for like something that I would wear on a regular basis so I decided to pass on that did get this like funky looking jacket. I love the detail on it. It's just like, I don't know, very, very like 80s grunge. The only piece that I got for myself, and I've actually seen this piece probably five times now. Every single time I've gone in there, it's been sitting there. And I actually had the identical blouse to this for a while in my store, but I have a vision with it. I really want to take the shoulder pads out because the shoulder pads are like way too much. Like it just, you know, boom in your face but I'm gonna remove the shoulder pads and I just want it to be like a really classic jacket it's very sheer lightweight so it's a good transition uh kind of spring to summertime piece and yeah I just think it's gonna be a lot of fun I think that with like a crop top and denim jeans will even be cute like there's a lot that I think I can do with that I am swinging by sprouts now on the way home because I desperately need to get something to eat uh I love how two stores will take everything out of me like I'm like oh I'm so winded literally went to two stores that are not that far apart from each other so dramatic okay on to sprouts this one's for the ride this one's for who knew I make it just needed some time this one's for my wife, could have left a thousand times just about my side. This one's for the grind, I knew it would happen because I had to strengthen my mind. To the videos, they thought I was a black guy. Mm, it's hard to get over. I'm falling in this world, but I'm fully devoted. I don't take it for granted that the door's been open. I knew I was different, I knew I was chosen. A breadwinner, but I'm soft spoken. Authentic like a 5950, and there's no cat. Let's have a toast to that. Let's have a toast for the real ones. Hello, friends. I finally caved and I got a backdrop again. Well, I shouldn't say I got a backdrop because I've had the stand for ages. Like literally, I think that stand I've had for seven years now. I finally caved and got another roll of photography paper. I don't know what happened, but I just woke up one day and I snapped and I was like, you know what? I miss it. I miss having that set up as part of my studio. So here we are again. <laughs> <laughs> what is it they say the definition of insanity is trying the same thing over and over again and not seeing results? Sometimes I feel that to the core whenever I set up stuff like this and I think I'm not gonna photograph and then I'm like Oh, I'm actually gonna start doing photography again Whew. You know, they also say though a jack-of-all-trades is a master of none, but there's more to that sentence a jack of all trades is a master of none, but oftentimes better than a master of one. 
sometimes I just need that little reminder that like, it's okay, it's okay to be multifaceted. I like taking pictures of clothes. I like photography, I like styling, I like all the things. What's wrong with that? First and foremost, the one thing that I found last week for myself that I am so excited for, this bad boy. I was pumped for this. I have mentioned in the past how much I love the brand Lack of Color. This bad boy. It's not Lack of Color, but man oh man does it look like that brand. So this was by far the best pickup I think I've had in a good couple months. Like I think this one, it's a good, it's a solid find. It's a solid piece. Next up is this cute little sundress. Gotta love the print on that. This one, this 90s bad boy. This is 1990s Vera Wang. The ruching detail on the side just gives me such 90s vibes that I was so pumped. So pumped for that. This one is a super cute, like illusion style classic Tadashi. I feel like you can see those from a mile away. Okay this bad boy. Do you guys remember last week I was talking about a tag on a vintage nightgown? It was like a, it was like a feathery number, but the tag read Blanche. I found another one at a completely different location that the tag reads for Blanche. Blanche, who are you? Why are you so cool? Look at this beauty though, with the, the cutouts, the mesh. It's such a stunning number and it's got like a high slit. I love it. It's all the things. Okay, this last piece, I am on the fence on if I want to sell or keep. Like this is 70s perfection. And during the fall time, this with like an ascot little piece underneath, it's a good look. That is it for this week's thrift finds. I'm starting to realize more and more that I need to give myself a little bit of grace with not featuring all the things that I pick up in one week. I need to start spreading it out a little bit just because I do have to clean items. So trying to feature something in a haul video like within the same week, it just gets a little difficult. So I know you guys probably saw some pieces in this week's haul, but you guys are just gonna have to stay tuned to see if I picked them up next week. Thank you so much for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys when I see you because lately I haven't really been keeping up with my two videos a week schedule, but I'm working on it. We're working on things around here, okay? <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.